Today on Gadget Class, we're doing a video review of an Intelli Charger i4 Pro. I think it's supposed to be Intelli Charger, uh, but this company kind of split off of the main company. Um, so they got there's two i4 Pros out there. We're looking at the JetBeamLight.com version. JetBeamLight.com. Uh, they are slightly different on the inside, so this review is only going to be good for the Intelli Charger i4 Pro. All right. And there have been lots of reports about this device running really hot and uh, possibly overheating. Guess what? It did. I had it for about uh, less than a year. I maybe charged, uh, I, I only charged 18650s on it. And I maybe charged uh, maybe 15 times total. A uh, total of 15 different charge cycles. And I put a battery on there. One of these high quality 18650s. Uh, one single battery. Had it on there, it ran for about 10, 15 minutes, and then it burnt up and died. The whole house smelled like burnt electronics. So, yes, uh, they do overheat, and yes, apparently they do die. Now, on the plus side, uh, it was only the AC side of the circuit that burnt up. I took it apart and uh, tried to see if I could replace a fuse or, or a simple component, and no, it's the, the whole AC uh, side of the circuit is dead. But what I did notice is that I can plug it into a standard 12 volt adapter. Let's plug that in for you guys. Just set my universal adapter on 12 volts, positive tip. It's, just, it's one of those standard big ones. And it actually came on, which is actually promising. And it actually does still work on the DC side of the circuit, which is actually kind of good because I paid 15 bucks. I contacted uh, jetbeamlight.com through their warranty and support system. I contacted them twice and did not hear back either time. Okay, so their customer service and warranty is uh, nothing, not even worth thinking about a warranty. And uh, basically, uh, would I recommend this product? I would not, even though mine still works and it does do a decent job charging. I mean, it's the circuitry there, it does do a decent job. It does uh, charge like pretty much the whole range of lithium ion batteries and uh, nickel metal hydride batteries. So it's a good, robust, all around charger, but like the reports say, the, they do overheat and mine did die on me. So I'm gonna recommend you go with a Nightcore or an E-Fest. I'll put link right up here and right up here to the Nikkor and the E-Fest. You can get one with a digital display readout showing the volts and the amps and all that crap. And uh, they're only 30 bucks for one that's a step up and a lot better charger overall. So uh, check out the links down in the description below or up here. I do use Amazon links now, Amazon Smile links. Uh, so when you use my link, it gives a donation to your favorite charity and supports the channel. And it's the same great low Amazon price that you would get if you went straight to Amazon. Uh, they're just giving a little slice of the pie away. So take that money and spread it around. You know, you're, you're spending the money anyways. You might as well spread it around. So uh, if it's all you got, it works. Otherwise, go with the Nightcore or an E-Fest and you'll be good to go. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out all the other videos on 18650s, lithium-ion batteries, and all that kind of fun gadgetry.